Good morning, YouTube. Today is the first day of October, and October is my favorite month ever for many, many reasons, but it has much more significance now than it used to because my baby was born in October. So it's birthday month for Beckett. He's over here playing outside. Hey, hey, don't put that in your mouth. Good job. So today we're gonna experiment with the oxtail and probably cook a steak or two and just have an overall, overall good first day of October. Yeah, it's also the first full moon of October. If you didn't know, there's two full moons in October this year, one today and then one on Halloween. How cool is that? Uh, I am a moon freak. If you guys didn't know, I have the whole uh, moon phase on my back. Some people say it looks like an eclipse. It was meant to be the moon phases, but the eclipse is cool too. So it could be both as far as I'm concerned. And so me and Ken are gonna do a photo shoot today for first day of October for my celebration of October because I love October. <laughs> So it is 11, uh, obviously I haven't eaten yet. It's just, hey, don't put that in your mouth. Being a mom is constantly saying, don't put that in your mouth, I've found lately. No. 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 Good job. And well, I don't even know what I was saying. Anyways, oh, I haven't eaten yet, just had coffee, so. No makeup, no makeup. Fresh faced mama today. So, yay, happy October, my lovely YouTube family. Thanks for being here, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. We keep it cool, clean, positive over here. So if you're into that kind of thing, stick around, join the YouTube Nisha tribe. Okay, so it's a little bit later. It is now 12.30 and I'm going to, Beckett's taking a nap. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cook these oxtail and prep them and get them ready to it. This is an experiment. It could turn out really well or it could taste like crap. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a go. And I'm gonna use my Instant Pot, I think. We'll see how it goes. It's like in the back 40 under the stove too. Maybe I can do this without making a lot of noise. Oh my gosh. So these are the oxtails that I have. Look like this. First thing I'm going to do is salt them really well. So, that's step one. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna lie. These are a pretty disgusting looking piece of meat. I'm coming from a person that eats a lot of meat. It's really saying something. So, I'm gonna turn the camera down and kind of show you how I'm gonna salt these. All right, so, I've got my Redmond salt and I'm just going to literally Coat these in salt. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because supposedly this will tenderize the meat and I've heard oxtail is pretty tough. So we're gonna wanna tenderize it as much as possible. Of course, cooking it in the pressure cooker is gonna help a lot, but this won't hurt a thing. And if you are afraid this will be too salty for you, you can rinse the salt off after, I'm gonna leave this on for about an hour to two hours um, to give it time to pull out the moisture from the meat. So after you get done with that process, you can rinse the salt off and then pat it dry with a paper towel. So as you can see, that's a significant amount of salt. And we're not afraid of salt in this family, so it doesn't worry me at all. Okay, now we're gonna let it sit out for, like I said, about an hour to two hours, 
and then I'll put it in the pressure cooker. Uh, in the pressure cooker, I'm going to start off using the saute setting. I'm going to put some butter and some garlic in there and a little bit of heavy cream as well. And then I'm going to sear the oxtail first and then I'll put it on pressure and we'll cook it for, uh, I'm going to Google what the good pressure setting would be for oxtail and see what I can find. And then we'll go from there. But right now I'm hungry. So I think I'm going to make a steak. I changed my mind. I'm going to cook it in the skillet. Usually I do the air fryer if that gets awake because I can cook and leave it instead of having to like get him off of me while I cook my steak. But I'm just going to cook it in my skillet with some bacon grease, salt, pepper, and of course, onions. He is cutting his molars over here. Yeah, no, they hurt. So we've not been in the best mood this past few days. That's okay. It's okay. Oh no, baby. Mm. Want some ice? Some ice? Yeah. delicious um the leftover pieces that you saw and the bone i gave to the dogs they eat our leftovers 90 percent of the time and the other 10 percent we keep the bones for bone broth put them in the freezer in a bag and then we'll make bone broth i'll be doing a recipe on that i know a bunch of you have asked for a bone broth recipe i'm working on it i promise and that's my first meal of the day steak and onions and it was delicious these chickens crack me up. They come to the gate and look at me like, what are you going to do? Are you going to feed us? They have food. Anyways. All right. First meal of the day. I'll probably eat again. Closer to 9, 9.30. I do a weird fast. I just eat when I'm hungry. And <clears throat> sometimes that's at 5. But usually it's closer to 8.30, 9 o'clock, 9.30. That's just how my body does. That's just how it does. I can't think of anything important or interesting to talk to you about right now. So we're just going to do food today and what I eat, period. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I'll put it here. You guys can follow me. I've been doing a lot of reels, which is basically TikTok on Instagram. Here's the thing. The reason I didn't like TikTok is because it seemed like no matter what I did, I wasn't reaching people and the whole point I do this is so I can reach people with information, right? But on Instagram, I seem to be doing a decently with reels. And so I'm making these really cool short clip like tips, encouragement, and I found that that's kind of like I really love doing that. The short little, here's what, here's a short bit of information that can be helpful to you and maybe get you through this day. So I just did one about falling off the keto wagon. It's pretty cute. And it uh, is to the song, uh, one of the songs from Hamilton, which I love him. I'm obsessed with Hamilton. We got to see it, thank God, before lockdown happened. And it's just an amazing show. And it's one of the King songs. Uh, just go check it out. Like I said, follow me on Instagram. Having a lot of fun over there lately. I'm gonna go plug my phone in now. <laughs> 
Okay, let's cook some ox too. I have set my instant pot to saute. I've thrown in two tablespoons of butter and three cloves of garlic. I am searing each side of the oxtail to kind of seal in the juices and then I'm taking them out. And then I'm going to put in broth, bone broth. You can use whatever bone broth you want. Then I also added um, two tablespoons of coconut aminos and two tablespoons of swerve brown sugar and some fresh ground pepper. Are you filming? Yep. Okay. All right. So the oxtail have been in there for several, several hours. I'd say about three hours total. Good. Um, I put it on a 40 minute cook and a 20 minute soft release, but then I left it in there. So really it's had a softer release than that. But just to show you guys what I would normally do is I throw a dish towel over the top and then I grab a spatula and I push the vent just in case there's any more steam left in them. There's not because it's been in there so long, but that keeps it from like going up into your cabinets and stuff or in your face. Nice hack. Yeah, uh, I got that from a girl on YouTube. Um, so we're gonna. Wow, that doesn't look half bad. Oxtail. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. So we're gonna let Dr. Berry take the first bite <laughs> and see what he thinks. I have to see you before when you take a bite. So. So I'll know if you're faking or if it actually tastes good. Yeah. What? Yeah. He's Bacon gonna give you support. some. He's playing with his teeth over here. Is it falling off the bone? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yay! It's like really succulent, fatty roast beef. Can you taste the sweetener? No. I put a little but you bit see, of. I'm just twisting it. Yeah. And it's coming off. I put a little bit of the brown sugar swerve on there in it to kind of. Beck it wants some. Go back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me see, show it to me. Show me. All right. So it's just you're just taking the fork and pulling so it off. I'm just twisting. Okay. Cool. Is it tough? No. No. Beck it wants some really bad. Ow! Come on. Oh, whoop. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hand I'll hand him to you. Lovey and Poppy gonna try it. We'll see what they say. That'll be the real test. I will love it cause I'm hungry. <laughs> well, that's, you know, that's the trick to being a ketovore is wait till you're really, really hungry. Then things really taste better. And my mom's like, please don't film me. <laughs> he made a little bit of a face. Is it hot? It may be. Warm. Is it a little hot? He acts like it's a little hot. Yeah, really good. All right, what's the verdict? It smells really good. Yeah, it does smell really good, which is impressive. I really thought it was going to stink. Mm. I'm trying to get a bite. What's it taste like? Roast beef? That's what Ken said. It tastes like, like, yeah, like yeah. ham, sort of, with, but. It's good because it's so. It's really tender. I'm surprised it's, tender it's that tender. This is like jelly. Yeah, that's all the fat. Mm -hmm. It had a lot of fat on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Tastes like beef roast, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells like grandma's beef roast. Mm -hmm. Tastes like her roast. Like if I had put carrots mm -hmm. in, and I was going to mm -hmm. put onion in there and then I just I forgot. Mm -hmm. No, it does taste good. Really, it does. Yeah, it's like. You want more? Mm -hmm. That's really tasty. Yay! Awesome. So I'll put up the recipe separate for those of you <laughs> who may not want to watch this whole vlog to get the recipe. But <laughs> Yay! Mommy did it! <laughs> yeah. You like that? Well, that concludes our What I Eat in a Day Cook With Me oxtail vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumb and subscribe button. Stick around. There's a lot more recipes to come. I'm so glad this one turned out good because I was kind of worried. But 
Oh, I guess I should show you my taste reaction too. Hang on. Okay, here's my live reaction to the oxtail. Ooh, that's hot. Wow. Well, tastes good. I'm not hungry. That's so much good. better than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. It tastes like roast. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I would definitely put onions in it next time. I did put garlic in there. Maybe some, what did you say? Cabbage. Some cabbage. You could totally put, you know, more veggies in there than I did. We eat more, like, obviously, meat-based stuff. But I think it would be good with some onions and cabbage in there for sure. <sighs> all right success awesome thanks for hanging out with me guys like i said hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video love you mean it bye